the next important concept is the concept of electrical resistance okay like i i told you all the material that we see around us okay all the normal day material no, normal normal wires and switches and all of those things as the electrical current flows through them they offer some resistance to the flow of this electric current they try to stop it okay and this is what is known as electrical resistance all the material uh, materials have it okay all the normal materials have it and this electrical resistance is in property of the material itself and it is uh, measured in units called ohm o h m ohm they are named after german physicist george simon ohm who was a teacher and of course he did a very important thing he invented what we call the ohm's law and this is of course the ohm's law written right here what does it tell us what does the ohm's law tell us okay like look at the picture right here and you will probably get an understanding the volt or the potential difference across the circuit is trying to drive the current this is what this picture is telling you and the resistance inside the circuit is trying to stop it and this is what this equation is also telling you as i increase the voltage the current increases as i increase the resistance the current decreases right? because the resistance is trying to stop the flow and voltage is trying to drive the flow of electrons and i is just the current is just the flow of electrons okay so this is the current and this is the voltage and this is the resistance so now with this basic understanding okay this equation is very very important uh, i is equal to v by r this this ohm's law is very very important and with this equation with us now we can solve some more interesting more complicated things right? now what imagine what would happen if i were to instead of having just one battery i had two batteries in a circuit so previously i had only just one battery and the bulb was glowing now I, instead of one battery i added another similar battery to the circuit such that their emfs were added their voltage across them got added their work done would what would, would be added the way to connect the battery in such a way would be to connect the plus of one term one battery the anode of one battery to the cathode of, cathode of the other battery so if i were to do this the voltage in the circuit would increase and correspondingly the current would also increase as the current increases the heat generated by the lamp would also increase remember like the current flowing and the and the lamp providing the resistance like now larger the amount of current the more the heat would be the more the sort of the uh, uh, the, the more electrons would hit, hit here and there and the more heat would be generated inside the lamp so the more heat is generated which means that the lamp would grow brighter okay so that is what would happen if we continue to increase the voltage right i added one battery i added one more I, if i continue to do this then at some point such a large amount of current would flow through the lamp that the uh, the due to the heat generated the uh, tungsten the filament of the lamp would burn out completely okay and we say that the lamp would then just fuse <coughs> now let's take the other scenario let's say what happens if the battery remains the same and instead of having two lamps uh, instead of having just one lamp i connect another lamp to my circuit now the same voltage voltage remains the same in the circuit but now the resistance has actually doubled instead of just having one lamp i now have two lamps so of course the current would reduce due to this reduced current the temperature uh, inside the lamp would reduce and of course the lamp would uh, would become dim so each individual lamp would now lit be lit dimmer